What's going on YouTube? It's Keith Porty Performance. I'm back with another video that's gonna help you be the best basketball player that you can be. So let's talk about how you can structure your days and be the most efficient basketball player you can be. Now it's a big dilemma for everybody. I know school is here and a lot of you guys are stuck between 6 a.m. and 3 or 4 p.m. because you have school. Now I'm here to tell you, you could still get two or three workouts in in a day during school days. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. I know it sounds not doable, but like I say, and like I say all the time, your workouts should not be crazy long and they should be quick and to the point and efficient. So before we break anything down and separate it day by day, we first gotta know what type of work we need to be putting in in these days. In this specific video, I'm gonna suggest that you work out five days per week. Now, if you're playing fall ball, I would switch the schedule up a little bit. You don't wanna be working out all seven days through the week. So I would suggest that you work out three days a week legs and two days a week upper body. So on our Mondays, we're gonna have an intense day of lower body strength training. We're gonna focus on plyometrics and we're also gonna focus on skills training, our heavy intense skill training. We're also gonna repeat this on Fridays. So our Mondays and our Fridays are our lower body strength, plyos, and our heavy intense skill training. So then Tuesdays and Thursdays are gonna be our upper body days. We're going lighter on our legs, but we're still getting work in on the court. Like I said, we wanna take it light on our legs. So one of the things that we can do is work on our jump shot. We can do some block training where we do our five spot shooting. Maybe we get a little bit of movement in there to add some variability, but we're really not trying to do too much. We're trying to rest our body these days. So our Wednesdays are gonna be a light lower body strength day, light plyos, and we're gonna focus more on our skill work on the court. Now we have which days we're doing what, let's plan out how we're gonna implement all these workouts throughout the day. It's gonna be a little bit awkward how we split this up, but in our mornings, when we first wake up, we are gonna get our body weight strength training in. Now this is gonna require you to wake up a little bit earlier than you normally would, but you have to understand that the grind is just the grind. You have to follow through, you have to be disciplined and work your butt off. If the grind's not for you, it's not for you. Now I understand you might not be able to do your plyos because you don't wanna wake anybody up. Let's save those for after school if that's not a possibility. But we wanna get our lower body strength and our upper body strength in before the school day starts. Now after school, if you still have those plyos to complete, let's complete those right before our workout and kinda of use them as a warm up. So like I said, Mondays and Fridays are intense skill training. So this is gonna be stuff like your ball handling, your one-on-one -on -one ball handling to finishing, your intense movement, your cutting. You can add in your small-sided games. You can add in anything that's heavy movement and heavy cutting back and forth. This is the day you wanna do it on. We're gonna do this workout after school. That way we have time to actually focus. We're not gonna get all sweaty right before school. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going a lighter session. So we also wanna do that right after school. I would just typically stay to skill work right after school. And that last workout is gonna be our mobility session. This should only take 10 to 15 minutes. So it's really not that difficult to make sure you get this in. Now, if you're not sure what to do for your mobility workouts, I have full mobility workouts on my Instagram page for free. So go check those out. Typically, your mobility sessions are only gonna last 10 to 15 minutes and they should be a breeze. You should be able to get through them pretty quick. And I personally, I like to do them right before bed. I feel a lot looser and I fall asleep way quicker. Now, if you don't do that right before bed, let's add in some visualization, some meditation or some prayer, depending on your religious beliefs. Let's add in some of that stuff to calm us down, activate that parasympathetic nervous system, and then really fall asleep. I know I threw a lot at you guys, and I hope you guys can finesse this schedule so it works for you. But my main point in making this video was to show you that you can get two to three workouts in a day. All it takes is the mindset to know that you're gonna get it done and then stay disciplined and get it done. If it seems like way too much for you and it's not something for you, I understand, bro, the grind isn't for everybody. But make sure if you're gonna start with this, stay consistent and prioritize that consistency over that motivation. Continue to work hard. I know, I understand that it can get tough at times, but we have to stay disciplined to our schedule and not just be intense and motivated to do it once in a while. The people who are able to separate themselves are the people that are able to stay disciplined on a plan and really work through that plan. Like I said, that motivation, that intensity is gonna go away. 
But if you can stay disciplined and continue to work hard, even when that motivation is not there, you're going to separate yourself. So the season's coming up. We're three months away. If you need a plan that's going to work out, if you need the exercises to actually implement for what I just gave you today, go check out the link in my Instagram or TikTok bios. It's kpperformance.org. I have plans. I have an all around plan that works on every single thing that you need. Ball handling, finishing, shooting, anything, vert program, agility, mobility, everything you need to get better. You can literally use this to implement this strategy and I guarantee it's gonna help you. And you're still gonna get that work in during the school year. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I really hope that I helped you. If I didn't, if you're still confused, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'll help you out on there. Until next time, I appreciate you guys.